Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to talk about self-care practices because for the longest time I have been trying to implement different spiritual and self-care kind of practices in my daily life because we all know that there are certain things that will boost our mood, certain things that increase dopamine and serotonin and all of the chemicals in the brain and stuff like that. Like we know that there are certain things that we should just do because they will make us feel better and they will improve our overall outlook on our life but I feel like it can get overwhelming and it kind of leads to self-punishment when we don't do them or when we start something and then we fall off like you can punish yourself and all of these kind of things and I've come to realize that if what you're doing doesn't feel good to you then don't do it (laughs) like Instead of choosing to do yoga just because we know that yoga is good for you and just because other people do it, if it doesn't resonate with you and it doesn't feel like something that you want to do or something that you enjoy, then don't do it because there are so many things that you can do, like so many different types of spiritual or self-care practices that are out there, so many things that you don't have to do all of them, you don't have to do every single one, you don't have to meditate if you don't want to, like meditation is probably the one thing that I would recommend to everyone but if you don't feel like doing it right now, don't do it and for the longest time I would try and do all of these things and I would try and implement them, then I'd fall off and stop doing it and then I'd punish myself and it just got into this cycle of like dread, (laughs) like I didn't enjoy it because it didn't resonate with me fully and I feel like we try to create these perfect, I'm talking about myself obviously because I can't talk about you, I'm not going to speak for you but hopefully this resonates with you but like sometimes we try and do things because we've seen other people do it and we've seen how it benefits them and like we feel like it's the right thing to do or the done thing to do, like something that we should do or whatever but if it doesn't feel authentic, if it doesn't feel freeing and liberating, if it doesn't feel exciting, then you don't have to do it. It doesn't have to be a punishment and it doesn't have to be something that you do just because other people do it, you know? Like, there are so many practices out there that you can find the ones that resonate with you, that actually feel good to you and that can change your life just by you doing one of those. Do you know what I mean? It's about what you enjoy. It's about doing what you love. So we can ask all of these other people what they do and try and get inspiration from them and everything like that, which is incredible. But at the end of the day, it comes back to you, comes back to your relationship with yourself. And we have to be honest with ourselves about what we want, what we like, what we enjoy, what we don't like, what doesn't resonate, what does resonate. And then consciously choose to do things that we actually want to do that will actually boost us and feel good and stuff without it feeling like a punishment or a chore or torture. So yes, there are a million and one different self-care practices and a million and one different spiritual practices and ways to tune into your emotions and ways to clear your mind and clear the anxiety and ways to ground yourself in your body and move your body. And like, there's just so many things that you can do, even physical activities. Like there's so many different workouts and exercises and ways to work out and move your body some people like to go for walks some people would like to use weights some people like to go for a run or a jog like some people like to run freaking marathons you know like there's just so many options some people like to do yoga some people like to do pilates some people like to do qigong like there are so many ways so many of everything, so many opinions for God's sake, like just so much stuff that it's so important 
to listen to your own inner guidance and follow what you feel called towards, not what somebody else has said. And if you resonate with what somebody else has said, then amazing, like try it and see if you like it. But ultimately it comes down to your own intuition and discerning things for yourself. So nobody else can do it for you or force you or save you or like give you all of the answers you have to do it for yourself and that's the same with anything even shadow work and stuff like that but when it comes to your self-care practices and the way that you like to do things in fact the way that you like to do your shadow work even that the way that you like to take care of yourself it all comes down to your way what you need what you want, what feels good for you. So allow yourself to do what you actually need as as you individually and watch how much a weight lifts when you finally release the pressure of needing to do what everybody else says or needing to do it in the perfect way that everybody else does and bring it back to what you need and what you like and honestly it's a game changer and I'm learning how to do this for myself so I wanted to just share this message with you in case it resonates because there's just so many options out there and different things that we can do just like different career paths you know like there's just so many directions and paths and things that we can do but when you come back to your own guidance system because that's what it's there for come back to your own intuition and your own gut instincts and everything and really follow what you need it will change your life. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so, so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate you. Definitely check out the description box below for all links to everything about me. One-to-one sessions, if you would like to book a one-to-one session with me, my phone number, my music, my social media, my jewelry brand, Elemental Mirror. My necklace has gone a bit wonky there. Um, what else do I have in there? My website, just everything about me is in the description box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week. And you can also DM me on Instagram or text or WhatsApp me if you have any video suggestions. And I also send daily inspirational, spiritual thoughts and videos via text and WhatsApp every day as well. So definitely check all of that out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh